Hello and welcome to episode 363 of the Lee Cast Podcast. I'm your host, Nick Deacon Cooper. Joining me, Aiden Frost Rockards. I'm not your host this week. And Colton Blue Basket Sweat. It's cold outside. <laughs> Where? Shut up. It's like 50 degrees there and it's like negative 50 degrees here. Hey, I have to put on a long sleeve shirt. So. <laughs> truly. <laughs> truly. Um, yeah. So how did how'd last week go? I thought it was good. I think we probably got a lot of emails saying that uh, they're voting me in as a new host. And voting oh, you off okay. this show. Best show ever. I didn't see uh, those emails, but I also didn't uh, check as as hard as I should. So you you also like search for them, so maybe you just deleted them. It's understandable. Oh, that's true. It's because I'm I'm the one in charge of the email account. Yeah. I I'm, okay, I see. I see. Uh, well, don't go through the trash folder. Uh, I would appreciate <laughs> that. Um, I thought it was a good show, though. <laughs> good. Um, hey, this week we're gonna be talking about uh, not very much news. I think there's only one newsworthy thing. Um, we've got a champion spotlight where we're going to be talking more about like champions that we're seeing in, uh, in ranked and in league as a whole, as opposed to, uh, um, as opposed to a specific champion, we got a couple round table questions and I'm excited to, this is a good question. So I'm excited to answer it. Um, let's see, uh, cheese pick, uh, we can talk about LCS cause that started for NA at least. And then a single email, which does not in fact say Aiden should be the main host. Quite opposite, in fact. So <laughs> it says I'm not listening to another episode without Nick. And how much? How much did you pay him to send that? Uh, I didn't pay myself anything. Did so. you give him your extra dollar that you get from the Patreon that I don't? Oh. Nick, your joke was funny. <laughs> Actually, no, maybe I don't Thank know. you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think it was funnier because he didn't acknowledge it. Yeah. So. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be uh, it'll be fun. So uh, how was your week, Aiden? It was all well. About it's about to get better. Um, I've just mainly been playing Sea of Thieves. Oh, I played Ranked. I guess we can talk about that because I play League of Legends now because Ranked's sure. out. Um, so we did the race to Diamond. I won in six games before Ooh, we fun. Nick got home. <laughs> because, <laughs> because, so the new system doesn't work very well for race to Diamond because Not I can finish race, yeah. before I finish my placements. Uh, yeah, so I got to Diamond in six games. Uh, after my eight, I think I'm D four fifty points. Uh, I played all support games. I only had one troll in my games. Um, they played Fiddle Eighty Carry, which I should probably talk about briefly. But I, <laughs> we can actually we can talk about that in Rising News actually, because that's kind of relevant to ranked. I guess that's more of like mm-hmm. a bigger ranked discussion. Anyways, games went well. I'm excited to play my other roles and stuff because I actually like the system like that. You don't get pulled down by playing other roles. Uh, mm-hmm. So I'm gonna be excited. I'm gonna get excited to play uh, top jungle mid, and probably never gonna play to carry. But that's alright. How do you feel about like I've seen it discussed on Reddit a decent amount where you can get demoted on an off roll, but you can't get promoted. It's like if I'm at They're 99 changing, yeah. LP and I win on my main roll, it won't like boost it to series on the other one. Like I still need to win a game there. But I which can way are they changing that, Aiden? They're making it so it works both ways. Oh, they are okay. Yeah, because okay. I think yeah, it should either work both ways or neither way. But there's no way that it should you know be one in one. And they're mm-hmm. also uh, they were mentioning that they're also planning on adding a thing where say if you're at 98 points and then you start your series, you might finish your series at 15 points in the next division. Ooh, oh, okay. Like yeah, they're adding stuff like that, that which is kind of cool. Yeah, that is a good um, change. Yeah, other than that, Kingdom Hearts came out yesterday. I haven't been able to play it because I've had schoolwork, but I'm excited to do that. Um, the voice acting is just as cringe as I remember it. Apparently, the <laughs> Japanese script was very poorly translated, and it's super cringe more than other Kingdom Hearts games, so that's always fun. It's also hard because you have people who are playing characters that they voice acted 20 years ago reprising the roles, so turns out 30-year-olds don't do the voice of 14-year-olds very well. Um, yeah. Yeah. Other than that, I'm, I had a very, very good week. Lots of Sea of Thieves, too. That game's great. What nice. about you guys? Aiden? Or Colton? Yeah, yeah we can give, we, Aiden, you can give your week again. We just do a repeat. <laughs> um, I played a good That's amount of ranked. what the people want. <laughs> I played a good amount of ranked. I'm, um, like, plat one in support and, like, plat two in jungle with only a couple of my placement games played so far. 
Uh, support, I played all of them. And I got trolled, I think, three games out of my eight. So that was not as fun. And I guess not, like, hard trolled, like a Fatal Lady carry, but, like... Our lane was up four kills, and then my AD carry decided to int. Stuff like that. I've been playing a lot of Alistar. Not so much Pike, because I feel like playing brain dead tanks is easier to get your team to follow up. Like, they're not going to follow up on a madman play on Pike, but if they see the Alistar go in, they'll follow you. Um, plus, Hex flashing over a mid tower wall and then bopping their mid laner off his turret is super fun. Hex Aiden, flashing I'm... over a mid tower? <laughs> yeah. Why do you say that? <laughs> <laughs> Hexaflash. Aiden, that's got to be one of the most fun things, all right? Is walking into the Raptor camp, Hexaflashing, I'll say it just like that for you, <laughs> over the wall and then just Wing the mid laner into the middle of the lane. I mean, just like Flash is fun and Hexaflash is like just Flash just get, Prime. Just get... Not for Prime, but like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like Flash Light, but you get to use it so yeah. much more. Like, you can just walk into the lane bush and use it every 20 seconds to fuck with them. Because, I, I mean, fun. in. In theory, I like using Flash more mid lane, but, like, you don't have it as, up as much. Like, the best thing in the world, Colton is walking mid as Alistair and just Flash comboing the mid laner and killing them. Because they're just mm -hmm. pissed that you just fucking blew summoners you to kill them. their lane, blew summoners, then ran back bot, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's been a lot of fun. For jungle, I've been playing Sejuani, and it's just, like, the most brain-dead easiest thing I've ever done. Like... I just I just win games. I'm just like, oh okay, I I got like two ganks off, but then we team fight and fucking OP. So that's that's Is she been actually nice. good right now? Yeah, so Johnny's real good right now. Um so that's what I've been mostly playing in the jungle and just like getting dragons and winning team fights and it's just like, oh, there we go, we won. I camped a with a Kled one game. I think we were I'm trying to remember what character it was top. But, like, he got a first blood on him, and then I just walked and we towered over him when he returned to lane to teleport. And I just looped back again when he walked there. And, like, I think he had seven deaths in, like, the first nine minutes as me and this Kled just were, like, diving his inhib tower at, like, 12 minutes. <laughs> it was great. Um, but, yeah, that's been ranked so far. I'm excited to play uh, more. Um, we did our tournament, but I think I talked about that last show, so that was fun. Um, other than that, I've been playing a lot of Tekken, really enjoying Tekken again. Um, been, been working on my, my main Horang. Me and Nick played a bunch of games and he, he, he killed me a lot of times and I killed him a lot of times, but it was pretty close overall. I was beating him until you started blocking. <laughs> well, sorry, I, I think it was, I won like the first three and then you won like four and then I started playing defensive and then I think I went like four, two in the next like six. It, anyway, it's funny. Today I watched a video on uh, Tekken 7. I watched the top 10 most annoying Tekken 7 characters. Mm -hmm. And number one was Horong, right? Mm -hmm. right? Uh, and the number two was, uh, what's the character you play, Nick? Dragon. Oh, <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it was like, oh. <laughs> it was literally number one and number two on the list. <laughs> so I was thinking about it, because this is my first Tekken game that I've ever played. The reason I like like gravitated towards dragon office because there was i think in tekken 5 there was just this video of him putting together a robot incorrectly that lasted mm -hmm. like two minutes and it was just really <laughs> funny to me at the time so i was like i'm only gonna play dragon off if i if i ever play tekken. <laughs> yeah. yeah so i was i was looking up tier lists because i was like i don't know if my character is good and like Huarong is like considered s tier on every list i looked mm -hmm. And Dragonov is, like, A tier. But then I look at, like, the top 16 Tekken players, and it's, like, nine Devil Jins, like, two Shaheens, and there's, like, only one Huarong in, like, the top 64. And yeah. I was just like, okay, but yeah, like, Devil Jin is by far the most popular um, in, so, like, pro play. Just from that video, is like, Huarong just has, like, super easy, like, mix-ups, so, like, he can, like, throw, like, low highs, like, is, like, super easy compared to most characters. Oh, and yeah, then for uh, Dragonov, I think it was that his approach is just, like, fucked. Like, his approach uh, overhand is, like, just mm -hmm. fucked. It was like, yeah. I'm like, oh, that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm, I'm excited to play a lot more Tekken. Like, I'm really excited to play more Tekken. <laughs> but yeah, that's, yeah. that's my week. I Aiden, I heard you made a switch to a different character. I just stopped playing. I, I want to still play Kuma. It's just I need to, like, learn him better. So I, I've been watching, like, a bunch of tech videos. It's just I have, it's all about momentum on that character. As soon as you mm -hmm. get, like, a lead, you can, like, abuse it with your hunting for where you're on, like, all fours. 
but it's I don't do that then transition into that momentum like enough. So I, I've been playing okay. King recently. Oh fuck King, he's got yeah. a dumbass grapple <laughs> on right like midair. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, there's one of like the top eight is Akuma main. Mm-hmm. There's one bear main. player like he's like top yeah sixteen. Yeah, he he like popped off at Evo, I think, and people weren't mm-hmm. expecting it. And then he's just been like pretty consistently good since. But yeah, I've been I, I watched a little bit of like the pro series for that, just to be like how to play shit. They do so much fucking like tap dancing back and forth. It's nutty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like one combo and you lose like half your HP, because they actually know how to carry you to a wall and fucking. It's so, it's it's like that, or they'll just get like one punch off, and you'll just be like keep playing fucking footsie for like thirty seconds, and like got one punch, and then you just back to footsie. Mm-hmm. It's all about the hit confirmed, dude. Um, as for my two weeks, boy, uh, a lot of school. Um, last week, so the reason I wasn't here last week is because Monday was uh, Martin Luther King Day here in the states, so I didn't have class then, and to make up for it, we just had it on Wednesday. So I wouldn't have been free until Friday, um, and I figured, eh, eh. Um, but video game-wise, uh, a lot of Dota 2, been playing some ranked. I streamed all of my games so far, which is just four, but three and one so far. In my loss, I played very poorly, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty content with my record being three and one. I think I won the games that I should have won and lost the ones that I should have lost. Um, what else? picked up some skitty oh boy city skylines recently been playing that a little bit and i think oh oh last weekend i saw the new spider-man movie i guess it's not new at this point but uh into the spider-verse and it was much better than i expected it to be i don't know Mm -hmm. i don't think that little kids movies are very good in general i don't know why you'd even watch that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh but it was it was really good i it, i kind of expected it to be like i i mean i feel like it still followed the pretty generic like superhero movie formula mm-hmm. but the animation was just like so good yeah it was it was insane. a real good movie insane uh and the soundtrack was really good and the character development was like pretty good so it was it was good and I saw that with my sister, and I've been playing Roblox with my sister, and Roblox actually not that bad. Yeah, I I I've mentioned this in Team Two before, but I've paid for worse games. Yeah. So <laughs> we all bought Raph, right? Oh, true. Some of us. What What is everyone's worst like purchase? Mm, probably mine one easy. of the many games I've never played. But uh, uh, mine easy like Brink. That game, yeah, it like I feel like it was fun to play, but it was the worst online I've ever experienced in my life. I like, bought no Mag. Oh, wasn't Mag? that the two hundred and fifty-six player, yeah. two hundred and fifty-four player PS three game that just yeah. didn't work because PS three oh, can't didn't... fucking hold, <laughs> handle two hundred and fifty. <laughs> it was such. Wow. I remember like following it for so long. I'm like, so yeah, you get the you got squadrons, and then your squadron you get your like squad, and then your squad you get your like your team. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, no, just fucking garbage. To be fair, two hundred fifty six players sounds awesome. Yeah, and they like it's like such a good pitch. Awful game. Yeah, yeah. It's like. Mm. That sounds really fun. Like, now I'm just imagining, like, what if you had PUBG, Aiden? But, like, you drop mm-hmm. in, like, one area of the map altogether, and, like, you had to just, like, clear out the rest of the map as, like, 100 players. And Don't they have like, 50v50 months? Maybe. They've done it, but, like, I don't know. I just think it'd be, like, kind of fun. Yeah, I like, saw so- there was... Sorry. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I, was gonna say, I saw someone on Reddit Colton pitch the idea of having all the PUBG maps like together, like with like a little bit of like water in between them, and then it'd be like a 500 game, a uh, 500 man mode. Oh my god! Just like 100 people for each map. Yeah. And then you're against each other, so you just get to loot all of Miramar before you fucking cross the bridge. <laughs> yeah. You just, you just fucking load up on the bridge right away. That'd yeah, be crazy. it'd be fun. Um, I saw a game mode in. PUBG a, a long time ago of uh I think it was zombies. Mm-hmm. Was native it? It in was the like... game? <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah, you can set up your own oh. customs with it. Yeah, I, I only saw a custom with it, but I I just remember seeing a game where 
it came down to the circle like closing to a pinpoint like it does Mm -hmm. because um as you as you die you become a zombie Mm -hmm. and the human had disguised himself as a zombie and just been with the (laughs) horde for the entire time yeah (laughs) it was awesome but yeah, that uh, I think that's for my week. I think that's uh, my weeks. I think that's it. Cool. So let's talk about rising news where there is bare, bare nothing. There's all random Earth mode that came out. What do you guys think? I think so. What I've heard is that the the cannon ruins everything, and everyone should just take TP. The cannon but... ruins everything if you're a bad player. No, Kenny's I think, great. I like that you don't have to take TP. Mm-hmm. I think um, the only thing that I agree with is that it would be... It's not fun to play against someone when you're winning and they just constantly cannon back in. But if you're losing, like you cannon back in and you don't have to spend more time like walking... You know, I mean, I don't know. I think you can really punish them cannoning in. Like so many times, yeah. I've just like thrown my combo right where they're about to show up. Sure, yeah, but then why not just cannon in like under your turret? Because people like, are fucking stupid. That's why people think they can <laughs> shit though. I see people fucking because there's like a you get like stunned for a second, which I think is a little bit too long. By the way, I think it should be like point five seconds. Mm-hmm. But man, I just see people launch themselves and die, launch themselves and die, launch themselves and die. And I'm like. What the fuck, dude? People just don't adapt to anything. Yeah, and I, I think like honestly, it's a, it's pretty big overreaction from the outrage that I've heard surrounding the cannon because mm-hmm. everyone was just taking TP anyway, like, yep. and you would just TP to lane, and as long as you didn't die within the sixty seconds, like cooldown, then it's exactly the same. I think the yeah, only like thing the cannon barrier on a thirty second cooldown. <laughs> yeah, the only thing it really does is I think like the melee characters who can like abuse ghosts, which is up like almost all the time. Mm-hmm. It buffs them a fair bit, but other than that, I think I feel like it's fine. Yeah, I I played one game so far. Um, I actually wanted to play more and didn't hate it as much as I thought I would. Yeah. So I'm I'm but we won that one and it was not very close and I got a pretty good character. And so. it was a four v five for the first one. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten good characters both times I played. I got Vlad and Oriana. I mm-hmm. think it's I think all random Earth is how Earth should be. Of course. If you like make it yeah. picks it the game dies in say like two weeks when it's all random. It dies in a day when it's regular. Yep. Cause I mean it, it happened like when Earth first came out. I feel like it was really fun because people were experimenting with so many different things. Like, oh, what if I played, like, what if I played Alistair this game? Like, who knows how mm-hmm. that's going to be? But now it's just like, oh, I I, I like winning. I'm going to play Karthus. I'm going mean, to play Tona. It's a, it's a game where you try to win. Like, same thing happened with uh, Nexus Splits, I think, too, right? Like... Um, yeah, I kind of I kind of felt it a little bit in Nexus Splits, but not... I feel like I saw the same. I, I feel like I saw the same champions more frequently in Earth. Yeah, but maybe I, I, I mean, just got unlucky. The more Nexus Bliss is up, though, I feel like the more people play to win rather than play yeah. to try shit. Right? Same like like yeah. Summer's Rift. How often do you see people like trying like new cheese picks and stuff like that? Right? Yeah, I guess I just see Summer's Rift as different. Like I, I guess I, I play Earth for fun. Like mm-hmm. as long as I'm having fun, I don't care if I win or lose. But I maybe I'm in the minority there. Um, yeah, as I've... long as I'm having fun, I don't care if I win or lose. But I'm only having fun if I'm winning. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like maybe, you know. maybe that's the maybe that's <laughs> the majority of people. But um, yeah, I think I think it's okay. So, uh, yeah, gameplay we'll thoughts. Um, really quick. Okay. If you shit talk in Arams, your rank should flash above your head. <laughs> <laughs> it should just be pasted in chat. Do you use all chat be... in Arams? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And it should be it should be a bigger like uh, flash of your uh, rank the lower rank you are. <laughs> hey, maybe if you're uh, if you're winning an ARAM, don't shit talk. I mean, you you end up with Janna on a team of three ranged carries and a in a Leona. Maybe you don't shit talk when you're especially gold one. when you're gold one. Then she goes, "I'm diamond. You're fucking gold one right now, you dumb bitch." <laughs> Imagine you're yeah, you're diamond, diamond five zero and you points. Get placed- Gold one after your placements. Fucking Christ! <laughs> she dude. started. That means that means that Jana started below gold one. By the way. Yeah. <laughs> or or she just won her first game in lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think her. Uh, I think her placements 
where I think she was three and seven. Christ. In her in her ten games, yeah. Not that this specifically happened to to us, but hypothetically, of course. I don't know. You should be executed if you fucking <laughs> shit at the game and talk shit. I think it would be really fun to have some sort of mechanic, right? You're allowed to talk shit. But if yeah. you direct your shit talking to someone who is a better player than you, you're banned for like a week. <laughs> That's <laughs> very <laughs> elated. <laughs> so it's like it's that it's that this person is this person having a really bad game or are they really shit? Like, can I let them know? Like Rank one of the latter is just God. <laughs> Also, <laughs> uh, disclaimer, we're fucking joking, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah, joking. Ha, <laughs> funny joke. No. I mean, yeah, I, no. I do think there's a lot of people who'd go, they think you can't shit talk higher players, and only if you're higher elo you can shit talk? No, yeah. don't fucking shit talk. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it's a joke. Like, I, I think it's funny when people shit talk me, and then I just call them fucking gold. Ask yeah. them how, how gold's treating them. <laughs> mm-hmm. So... And then they hit you with the, I don't play as much. And then they have four times your ranked games. And they tell you, <laughs> then they hit you with the, I don't even try and ranked. <laughs> yeah. It's fun. Um, let's talk about the champions we're seeing in ranked. Hell yeah. So I've only played four games. So I, maybe I don't have the biggest pool so far. Mm-hmm. But um, in my experience, I played against two Cassidans, And Cassidans seems so fucking strong. One, uh, yeah. I'm I'm one in one against him right now. One I was playing Swain, the other I was playing Lissandra. I feel like the champ maybe my champion pool just isn't strong enough early game to handle a Cassidy, but it seems like it's inevitable that he's gonna get strong. You definitely have to end the game after like before he hits level sixteen sort of thing. Um I don't think he's as big of a deal though. I was actually gonna say for mid, like the two biggest ones I found are uh, Lissandra and Echo. So like your Echo, interesting. I think Echo's fuck, dude. I think Echo's fucking wild. I think a character needs to be banned every game. Really? He's he's Maybe crazy. He does too much fucking damage. He's too safe and he's too tanky. It's like he's it's too a, fast. Yeah, he's he like he's actually one hits people though. late game though. Mm-hmm. He's not an assassin. It's, Why can't he so one hit people? It's because he has two damaging abilities. Right, because I uh, you can't count your ulti as a damaging ability. Yeah. So you have to you have to like overload that to balance for it, mm-hmm. right? Because he they ha- has to be played AP because he can't be played tank because that's a nightmare. You can't allocate more damage to his ulti because it's already like easy to dodge and and see. So you like a lot of his damage budget is in his point and click dash E, and his <laughs> like. Quote skill shot Q. Yeah, when you fucking barrel stuff up with us. Like, Like, what they could do, and I think would make it, like, better probably, is have it so, like, if you stun them with your W, you get bonus damage against them and, like, lower some of his bases. So you actually have to, like, hit your one skill shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It just feels kind of like. Go ahead, I'm sorry. I was going to say, it just feels like late game. Like, he can, when he's, like, full build, he can just flash EQ someone. And that's all he hits. And he kill- one hits yeah. them, and then also. Yeah, and that's on your mouth. Maybe I'll have to play <laughs> some uh, some Echo. I'd recommend it, man. He's wild, and he's really, like, mobile, so he's, like, good. He mm-hmm. doesn't have very bad mm-hmm. matchups either, I think. Yeah. He was one of my first Mastery 7 champs. Um, other characters that are very strong right now, Ezreal. Yeah. <laughs> Super good AD carry. I ban Ezreal every so, game. We can talk about that. I don't think Ezreal... I feel like he's good enough to be picked every game, but I don't think he's OP. Maybe I just haven't seen a, like a good one. It, it's it's I mainly because like he's like tanky. Like he he's a t- AD yeah. carry who can get 150 armor going blue build. Like that's mm-hmm. the biggest problem, right? He's actually an AD carry that can survive assassins, which just makes him a tier above best rest. Also, Colton and I talked a lot about it on the last show. Him and Saver both got a huge change to their Q and Alt respectively, yeah. where it doesn't fall off uh, off characters now. So that that's a huge fucking change. Like that's that's mm-hmm. so much damage in fights. It is a lot of damage. That was something I was debating, like talking about on the show, because both Ezreal and Lucian are probably the two, like if 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 they're not the two best AD carries right now, they're by far the two most popular ones. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, regardless of balance, right? Because I think Ezreal is pretty balanced. I think Lucian is a little on the strong side. 
But I feel like that's more a symptom of the marksman role as opposed to, a, like, the problem itself. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't feel like other AD carries are strong. And I think I mentioned this in, in uh, Discord that I feel like Riot – well, okay, so Riot Maple, I think is his name, posted that uh, posted a graphic – about which champions like the upcoming 9.3 patch mm-hmm. and their plan for like buffs changes like stuff like that and lucian and ezreal were both in the nerf category and everyone was like why i mean i they're not like they're good they're they're picked all the time but that's because every other ad carry is fucking trash like what are you gonna do you're gonna pick ash yeah die to everything on the map that but that so, makes sorry go ahead finish your no point. no no go ahead go ahead no I was going to say, like, that being said, but, like, to jump on, like, whole, like, the bandwagon nerf culture thing, I do feel like people jump at that way too quick. It was literally a graphic saying, these characters are being nerfed, these characters are being buffed, sort of thing. And mm-hmm. Nick and I had, like, a discussion in our Discord about it, where I was like, well, we should wait to see what the changes are, right? Because in my thoughts, I was like, oh, they're just going to revert the Ezreal alt change, right? Because that's a lot of power than expect, for example. And it turns out the changes that, I'm not sure if you looked at the PvE, the changes that went on the PvE before they reverted them was uh, they nerfed Ezreal's alt damage, which obviously to compensate for the alt change, sure. and then they nerfed his E damage. Okay. Which, like, once again... That'd be fine. I, I think those are absolutely fine changes, right? Yeah, it's just it's just weird that like I don't feel I feel like AD carry is a, is a role specifically is one where buffs rarely happen that define the meta as opposed to nerfs that define the meta. Mhm. Like we we see I don't know huge mid lane changes when oh like holy shit Syndra's getting 20% more AP like across her kit. Like this is going to be nuts. But it's it's more of like, oh, Azrael and Lucian are, are the most played, nerf them, and then let someone else fill the fill the vacuum. Yeah. Maybe that's just a cynical, like, biased point of view. I also feel like it's harder to, like, vastly change AD carries, right? Unless you... Because they're auto-attackers, right? Yeah. So removing caster AD carries out of the equation, unless they just give an AD carry, like, higher attack damage, um, like, per level, you're not really vastly changing the character, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean they wouldn't they wouldn't mess with a character's like interaction with stats, right? <laughs> like make them do ninety percent damage or something. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be possible. Like if you bought ten AD, it's actually nine like nine AD. <laughs> that still fucking blows my mind. <laughs> I'm uh, I am shocked that they've stuck stuck with that for as long as they have. So my yeah. my my other like thing about that that I find hilarious is like, why don't they just like compensate for that in all of her other numbers, right? Like lower Mm -hmm. her attack damage by like the appropriate amount and then fix ratios so she does the same damage with regular ad i got that's what i I don't don't know man i don't don't understand that That doesn't make any sense you're like well she's got 10 percent too much damage on her auto attacks so instead of lowering her base from 100 to 90 what if her 100 only did 90 (laughs) yeah it's dumb. Yeah. Um, but I guess back to the question at hand. What, yeah, other um... characters are saying. I think Sejuani's real good right now, like I said earlier. Um, I think Kha'Zix is real good in the jungle. Um, I think... I, I, I personally think there's three junglers that outshine everyone, though. Okay, what are your top three? Camille. I think Camille's yeah. the best jungler in the game. Camille's um, real good and super good for solo. I think the second best jungler in the game is Karthus. Yes. Karthus is fucking wild right now. Like it's actually just gross. Mm-hmm. Um, and then Kazix, I think, is the third best. But and then yeah, Zin like falls so slightly under. But yeah, yeah, I put Zin there up too. So I like think... Camille needs to be banned every game. <laughs> I think the great thing though about like Karthus being good is that it's really easy to punish Karthus. Yeah, yeah. Like I, I played against a Karthus. I, I had Kazix, and I just killed him like six times in his jungle. Right, like I took like one yeah, buff and, and the... just walked into his jungle. That's just how you deal with Karthus. Mm-hmm. That's the counter play. Mm-hmm. And like if you pick if you pick Kha'Zix, if you pick Graves, if you pick Camille, if you pick Xin Zhao, like any of them can bully the shit out of Karthus. And you just I, I would, like do that. any jungler can just bully him. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't I would never ban Karthus because he has counters, but I feel like he's actually like this might be the best Karthus has ever been, and he's now a jungler. <laughs> mm-hmm. Watch out for the rise of a Zingi. Yeah, like where the fuck is a Zingi at this point, dude? <laughs> <laughs> it's his time. 
Um, what about for top lane? I only have one for top lane that I've like I think is ban worthy, really. Jax. I think Jax should be banned every game. I have one that I think is worse than Jax. I don't like really? Jax. I, I think Jax should be banned as well, but I think there's probably I, I want the same reason than the Nick. Riven. Riven, yeah, Essence Reaver is fucked. Essence Reaver Riven so, is actually the probably the best thing in the game. <laughs> so I haven't played against it or with it yet. Um so I guess that's why maybe I wouldn't consider it, but so you know how that character has four dashes and a stun and a shield? Well, yes. <laughs> what if she had and eight dashes cool and two stuns? It, it's, just like, it's just so good for her. It's like, hey, I get a big sword that makes me do more damage. Oh, and I get plus attack speed. And every single time I auto, all my abilities that I use consistently go up faster. Like, yeah, it's, it's sort it's of wild. like she's, she's already a character that is rewarded for weaving in autos, which is really hard to do. Don't get me wrong. But this just like takes it to the next level. And did you see what they're doing on the... I think I told Nick about this, Colton. But um, do you see what they're doing? They're changing Essence Reaver next patch, right? They're doing the AD carry item oh, rework, right? Yeah. So Essence Reaver is going back to it's just being mana, doesn't do the cooldown thing, whatever, right? But what uh -huh. they're doing to compensate is they're adding an item called Spear of Shojin, which is mm -hmm. Essence Reaver. But instead of giving mana, it gives cooldown reduction in health. Like yep. on, when you auto-attack things? So, no, it's like, like it's, when it's, you it's, buy it's, the item... It, it has, yeah. instead of having mana as its extra stat, its extra stat is mm -hmm. cooldown reduction and health, but it still has mm -hmm. the Essence Reaver, like, active, like, when I ult, I get the 50% okay, attack so speed. Okay, so yeah, so it's like a Caulfield's Warhammer and, like, a Kindle Gem or something? It's literally just a better version of Essence Reaver for Jackson Riven, though. Yeah, it's just way better. I it's, don't know. Uh, yeah. So which, which character is it worse for? Because I would argue that I would want health and cooldown reduction on every single character over Even mana. Lucian, right? Like an AD carry? Like... I would, yes. Yeah, I would 100% trade mana for health and cooldown reduction. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone in the game who ever goes Essence Reaver for the mana. I would trade, I would trade mana for health. <laughs> <laughs> I think the passive on it is just fucked. Or like, sorry, the active of when you ult, you just get like three times stronger on top of having your ult. Like, mm -hmm. I, I think I'd that's be fine if the duration part, right? was way lower. It's eight seconds, I think, right now. Eight seconds is nuts. And it's on a ninety or sixty second or ninety second cooldown. I think I'm not sure which one. Put it put it on a four second cooldown and make it scale up to six max if you get in some autos. Yeah. Easy. You're welcome, right? Because if you you should be able to zone them for like those first four seconds or something like that, and then just negate it. If they get yeah, on you, like, then they should get it, right? Yeah, for sure. If you're able to to keep them from landing a single auto, like two autos. If you can't make them land two autos, the it should it should punish them for wasting that. Mm -hmm. Easy. Yeah. yeah, but Riven and Jax are probably the best two top laners, I would assume. Mm -hmm. I think. What if, I, what my if... only argument for Jax is that he is way easier to play. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. true like what if, what if on that like that active just i'm thinking of another way to balance it like what if when it was on cooldown there was just like a straight up debuff to your character like you're exhausted uh like i, I don't, hate that I don't, idea though i don't like it but it's just so fucking good how it is right yeah, yeah but but that active would have to be way better than i feel like to compensate it would need to be like pretty game changing I feel like Either that, that character like, like a four-minute cooldown if you don't get a kill with it. That would be an all right. Honestly, like doubling <laughs> the cooldown if you don't get a kill is not a bad idea. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, it has to be a kill. It can't be an assist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about support? Because I have uh, I have one character that I've actually been banning whenever I play support. I've just been playing Alistar every game. Support. Um. Sorak is good because Karthus is good. Mm -hmm. I feel like the only supports that I've seen that have done pretty well. Are, have been Zyra's, oddly well, the, enough. The character I'm thinking of is a mage, so... <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, Vel'Koz. Vel mm -hmm. Really? I think Vel'Koz is ban-worthy right now. Hmm. Like, that being said, you have to know how to play him in lane, but out, other than that, he's gross. Like His late game's wild. You can easily build... Uh, what What's the... Magias? Every single game, I think. He's just safe enough. It's so safe. It's wild. Like all you have to do is just get like three seconds of your ult off in a team fight, like just backline, and then you've done more damage than any mage could have. Save for maybe Brand. I still even th I think Brand's like gets blown up way easier based on like well, how yeah, the he's, character he's plays. way shorter range, right? Yeah, but I feel like the potential for Brand is much higher. 
I don't know, man. I just feel like Velkos is fucking gross right now, and hmm. no one's like banning it. It's picked a lot. Now, do you do you think the glacial augment is the way to go on him? Because that's what I've been seeing mostly. Is like it's just so good for laning. Into, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sorry if any sound comes through. Um, apparently, fun fact: we have a dog. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, you do? Are you sure it's not me? And he's just <laughs> bitching at one side of the door, even though I just let him through. No, it was it was my uh it was it was my house. I don't think oh. it's I saw him in my you. up. Mine yeah. too. <laughs> no, I, no, I wasn't flaming you. I came home today and we have a dog. Oh, cool, lucky you. So <laughs> I guess that was I forgot about that in the news. Are there um, any news, other characters that you guys think are OP? Honestly, like Lucian, AD Carry. Mm-hmm. As much as I hate to say it, I think he's too strong right now. That's not the that's not the the AD carry change I was I was complaining about. Fuck Aatrox in general. I think he's real strong, like still, but fuck Aatrox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think Saver is the only other AD carry. I would pick. I would just pick Saver every single game AD carry if you play it. Like not only does she so have it's... like, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was gonna say I just feel like her laning is really strong. She just auto pushes any waves, so she can get out of any single laning phase. Then, not only is are we in a meta where AD carries are bad, and she's a utility uh, AD carry with her alt, her alt so P in bad AD carry metas, but now her Q allows her just to sit on the back line with her ricochet, and you can always be doing damage to their like carries while hitting their tank. I feel like she's just so good right now. What um, what keystone do you run on her? Because I feel like she doesn't have a good one. I guess you'd run fleet, honestly. I think you'd just run fleet to compensate for her just not amazing yeah. lane. And you just, like, you just never die, and you just pump out damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, everyone's running fleet on her, yeah. Okay, interesting. It's, you're I've getting a, a, getting a of... lane, yeah. Plus, like, yeah. that, and, like, if you go, like, the essence, if you get, like, uh, sorry, uh, static shiv, like, rapid fire, mm-hmm. just, you know, that those all interact really well together, and you just two-hit a wave. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Did we miss a? Did we miss anything? I guess That's, we didn't. Really I don't, we didn't talk really talk a lot lane. about mid. Um. I don't know. I, like Akali is still hella strong. I think so. Still pretty strong. They're I still think, trying like, to nerf Lissandra instead of nerfing Aftershock, so Lissandra yeah. will still be OP. Mm-hmm. I do. I haven't even been taking Aftershock. Like it's I've been OP. taking Comet. I'm not saying it's not OP, but I feel like it's. In in lane, like when, well, I like to play pretty aggressive on Lissandra in lane. It's worse than Comet, but yeah. in, a, in a huge team fight, it's way better. Like I still I into like a, a lane that I'm aggressive into. I still go aftershock, but then I t- take ignite instead of TP. Oh, I just run Comet ignite every game. Oh yeah, because I think ignite's really good <laughs> on her. It's undervalued, but yeah, for sure. Like aftershock just allows you to like delay your ult for an extra two seconds after you jump in and then W. That's true, yeah. Just getting forty forty resist or seven? Is it seven? It's forty forty, right? I think. I think it's more. Than, I think it. It's seventy seven. It yeah, it's seventy seventy. I think it's flat. It scales off oh. something, but not like not the rune scales. Um, it probably scales off of armor and magic resist. How do we not know any of this shit, dude? That's wild. It's we're dumb. Yeah, we're not we challenger. Just, we just know it makes you tanky, so that's all. Um, <laughs> me what is it? Do? Me, me tanky. It is oh it does scale based on level. It's seventy to hundred and twenty and then bonus armor and magic resist. Wait no, it's just it doesn't scale off it. Wait. Okay, the damage scales off your uh shit, but like yeah, it's, oh, it's okay. it scales on level. Are... Jesus. So one twenty at level eighteen is still like fucked. That is nuts. That's two items. Seventy no, at level one's items. fucked, but <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Cool. Um I think Swain's really good mid still. Mm-hmm. He's undervalued. I think I think you can take Electrocute into range and um, grasp into melee and just shit on everyone. Nice. Cool. So I guess um, let's talk about Roundtable then. Hell so yeah. What's your answer to this question before we go into our, our fans' answers? Yeah, so for last week's, last week's question, wh- which was... They're not right. Where the fuck... I definitely wrote down a bunch of answers. Who do you it think is are under the most iconic Brown table. characters? Oh, I did. Yeah, right here. <laughs> yeah. 
We're good. Where are the round table answers? In my defense, yeah. yeah. Table. We're good. Um, so top lane. When I see top lane, I'm picturing, I mean, probably Jax. Jax or Garen. Yeah. Uh, in the mid lane, it's got to be, I mean, I'm sorry, in the jungle, it has to be Lee Sin, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, in the mid lane, I would probably say Ari or Katarina. Ooh. In AD carry, I would say Ash or Caitlyn. And as support, I would say probably Blitzcrank and Alistair. Hmm. Interesting. I think I'm a little biased towards champions that were put into those roles really early in the game. Mm-hmm. So it's just like on the cover, I it think would be... I think same. On yeah. the cover, it would be Katarina or Rise, and you just... That, that's a mid laner. Mm-hmm. I think the only one uh, Colt Nine I disagreed with you was like we did we're a hundred percent out on Orion I think but yeah yeah I guess I think I for guess us because it was like I Orion seen... Annie were like our two right yeah yeah I guess I just haven't seen those two champs recently enough because there's also a little bit of recency like bias in there as well mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we also had Soraka pretty high up on our support list. Yeah. Because again, just like really early in the game, like that's the support character. What can she do? Oh, well, she can give you health, she can give you mana, and she can give you health again. Um, so if, if we were to go through like with uh, what you guys voted on, um, what you guys would have as the most iconic characters, like the set top jungle mid AD carry support, it would be Garen top, Lisa in jungle, Ari mid, Ash AD carry, Thresh support. I feel like that's actually that's a like, pretty good team. Yeah, honestly, that's not bad. And I feel like it's. I've, Garen still feels weird. Colton and I kept going back and forth on Garen. Garen doesn't feel like he should be the face of top lane, but that's the one we could come up with. I feel like it's because he's like he's one of the champions that you start with, right? Mm-hmm. So he's four fifty. He's a top laner. He's pretty beefy. He's pretty simple. Like people stick with him. Yeah. Um, anyways, for the rest of the votes, though, so for top lane, Garen got five votes, Darius got four, Timo got three, Riven got two, Shen got two, and Nasus and Maokai got one. Um, jungle, Lee Sin got six, Rengar got three, Yi got two, Graves got two. I thought Graves getting two was odd, honestly. I still think I'm a Zeddy carry, though. Um, then Elise, Kazakhs, Jax, and Warwick all got one. I wonder if people who voted for Graves played after he was changed, or, like, around that time. Um, for mid... Ari got four, Annie got three, Zed got three, Yasuo got two, Rise got two, Ori, TF, and Galio got one. AD Carry, Ash got four, Vayne got three, Jinx got three, Draven got two, Ezreal got two, Lucian got two, Jin, Caitlyn, MF got one. Um, I think Jinx getting three is probably due to the cin- cinematic, right? You'd have to assume. Like her being such a big figure when yeah, around that time. Yeah, she was pretty popular for a while. Like she was mm-hmm. real good for like a season or two. Yeah. Yeah, but they kind of went like right. I feel like Riot went really all in on Jinx's release, like more so than almost any other champ in the game. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like the hype was building. Like they released a cinematic. There's the music like that went along with it. Yeah. Um. And last but not last but not least, uh, for support, Thresh got four. Soraka got three. Jana got three. Brom got three. Morgana, Brand, Blitz, Rakan, and Nami all got one. Brand, interesting. Yeah. Oh, that was hmm. interesting. Uh, anyways, this week's roundtable question is: You're given the pass of the last champion you played. How does it change your life? Ooh, gotta look at my match history. Be right. The back. last champion I played was Alistair in a ranked game today, or not a ranked game, in an uh, in an A Ram today. And I suppose that makes me king of the insects, right? If six insects die around me, I get healthier. Yeah. So if I just purchase, like, I don't know, 60,000 ants, I just kill six a day. What if it's six children? <laughs> oh, six children? Yeah, when six children. What if children... you just, like, worked in, like, a hospital and, like, as patients die, you can use it to heal other patients? I feel like there'd be a conflict of interest because then I'd be, like, I feel like maybe I would not want, th- like, oh, I'm, I got a little sniffle, like, maybe little Jimmy doesn't have to go home. Yeah. Like, I only went away. Christ. I have Oriana, so my my uh, auto attacks would do a little bit of extra magic damage. So, like, if I punch somebody, it's just going to deal a little bit of extra magic damage. But so, it's going to scale up. It's going to scale up. So my combos are going to be lit. 
I feel what? like we could we could just make this like your your insult. Your fir- your first insult not that good, right? It's pretty okay. It's average. Just your everything I do though? in life if I just continue doing it just scales better <laughs> and better. <laughs> yeah, your second insult, boom, hit him hard, dude. I like the idea that like it's a physical attack. So it's still on only on auto attacks, right? Like her abilities you don't get that. But like it has a magical flair to it. I don't know what that means, but it's definitely mm-hmm. magical in like feeling when you hit them. <laughs> like... I'm just, I'm just imagining me like taking up like boxing and getting like a 16 punch combo, and like they're just fucking obliterated by the last one. Yeah. Even though it's definitely not what would actually happen. Yeah. And it caps it too. Supposedly, yeah. I guess so. I guess I get to my max power after two hits. Yeah. Um. How about you, Aiden? So I got a, I got a pretty good one. Um. So I got Pike. So the passive of my passive, by the way, is that uh, I cannot gain health. Um, so I'm ca- I'm capped at what I am. Uh, well, actually, I do get it per like uh, year. Every year, I get a little bit healthier. Yeah, you you get a little stronger, when but you I can't get health. Can't, you get damage. I can't work out. You know what I mean? Well, mm-hmm. yeah, I can just get. He- I can. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what is good when I buy? Um, when I try to buy like health, like supplements and stuff, I just get stronger. Like I can just hit people harder. Oh, which is cool. But the real cool part is when people hit me, if I, like, hide for a little bit, I heal back really quick. <laughs> oh, every time they blink, you'd regen, dude. Yeah, dude. So I can, like, Hoggers. fight, and I just have to, like, hide from them for a little bit. Yeah, you just, like, fucking throw a smoke bomb and come back, and you're like, I'm full health, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was hoping your last play champ would be Karthus, and then you just get <laughs> seven extra seconds. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Christ. Just scream as loud as you can. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Cool. God, like, oh my, this is a real fun question. I want to just, like, this is a good one. consider the implications out of every character, but I'm sure we'll get a lot of great answers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you want to tell us uh, what passive you were given and how it would affect your life, you can hit us up on our Facebook page at Leadcast. Send us an email, mail at Um Hit up our Discord and post in our roundtable section. Yeah, it'll be fun. Tell us I'm your really answers. Wishing, I'm really wishing my last played was Sichuani now. Because I'm just thinking, like, if I haven't been in a fight for a while, I'm just super fucking tanky. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, like, walking around, just, like, the first bullet out of nowhere does nothing. And I'm just like, oh, my. Yeah. <laughs> Cannot be slowed. I don't even know if it still does that. Anyway. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Hey, cool. a cheese pick. Hey, so this isn't really that cheesy because it's, like, very, very, very good. And it's been played in the LCK, but it's also really fucking cheesy. So Tarzan, uh, pretty good jungler, uh, he's, he's okay, um, decides, mm-hmm. hey, you know who has really good clear and doesn't really need items and is already taking Ingenious Hunter for his Predator boots? Olaf. What if I just went first item redemption on Olaf every game and walked up and had like a 1,000 health swing in the middle of a fight because it heals all of my allies for like 150 and damages all of them for like 100? So that's that's it. It's uh, rushing redemption on Olaf. Um, like I said, very good in LCK. I don't think I've seen it drop a game. But then again, I don't think Griffin's going to drop a game anytime soon. Uh, I heard someone played Jarvin AP Jarvin support. <laughs> that's what I was gonna bring up. Uh, I'm sorry <laughs> I didn't mention. That. So today in the game is uh, Afrika Colton. Uh, you know how Spirit's their mm-hmm. second jungler. Yeah. He played support for them and played AP Jarvin support both games, and they smashed. <laughs> so like you, you do that you, game you max some um, e right and then you just give your ad carry yeah. like a fuckload of attack speed and stuff for and also you do a lot of damage and, and armor, but like yeah. it's mainly for like barons and dragons you having like 40 percent attack mm-hmm. speed for your entire team just really really easily by dropping a pole is fucked for yeah. like objectives yeah it's like it's like old when ardent sensor meta was a thing and you had Tarek, and like the entire team just got ardent sense for the entire time Mm-hmm. It's yeah, it's just crazy. Plus, like oh, extra armor, extra attack speed, super good. Um, his CC is all still strong, and like I think it's almost better as a support if you can use the CC just for the CC and not have to worry that much about the damage. Because mm-hmm. you can get those like big knockups or those like trap four people kind of thing. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I hadn't seen that game. I need to watch that game then. I'm a little I, behind on my LCK. I also do appreciate when like teams play like Spirit's obviously their jungler. But because he obviously has the most fucking Jarvan knowledge, he played support, which I, I like. I love that when teams yeah. do shit like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, if you want to watch any of those Tarzan games, very good. Redemption Olaf, I think, real good right now. 
Um, yeah, you, you go uh, Predator and Ingenious Hunter. And then I believe he's been taking Stopwatch and then the extra one that gives 5% item cooldown just to have it up all the time. It's such a low cooldown. And it's only like, I think, 2,200 gold. So you get it well before anyone else is like finishing a good item. Mm -hmm. Right, like you finish your Improved Smite and Redemption when they're finishing their like first jungle item. And it's just way better in like a team fight. Mm -hmm. Not as strong for dueling, but like bonus healing still works on you as a lob with your W. It's it's strong. It's good. Heal. Interesting. Mail fight. Yeah, let's talk about mail fight. Uh, we have one email and it's from Devin this week. He said, "Hey boys, screw Nicholas podcasts. Uh, Nick less podcasts." No, I mean, his, his last name last is Cooper. Week. Isn't it, it's not podcast. Nice. It's Cooper. Yeah. Right um. <laughs> Uh, I mean, you two did great last week, but Nick is my favorite. So roundtable answer, I feel like it goes like this. Top lane is Garen, mid is Lux, bottom is Ash. Support is Blitzcrank, and jungle is Master Yi. The reason being, all these champs have pretty simple kits and are often suggested as first champs to learn on uh, in everything from the uh, from the League of Legends game intro to their advertisements. With that being said, they're all freaking annoying skillless champs. Uh, not really, but really, though, Devin. I think it's a pretty solid list. And I appreciate yeah. the compliment. I'm glad to be someone's favorite. <laughs> we can't all be Aiden, Nick. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair. We can't always be the bad boys of League Cast. Um, and with that, <laughs> I'll bring us to the end of the show. Yeah. Thank you guys for listening. If you like us, you can follow us on Twitter at LeagueCast and at LeagueCast, Fro at LeagueCast Frost. On Facebook at LeagueCast. Uh, TeamSpeak is ts.leadcastpodcast.com. Our email is mail at leadcastpodcast.com. Follow us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash bluebasket. Uh, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash leadcast. And um, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks once again for listening, and we will see you next week. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.